Hello and welcome, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Today is about the creation of a mortared sandstone wall and the natural stone expert Vangeli has agreed to give a few tips. We will look at what he's doing and I thank you for following along. This wall is going to be two and a half meters high, functioning as an enclosure on the side of the patio and of course this height can only be managed by using lime mortar. The weird shaped stones make building the wall a challenge. Therefore, I'm happy that Vangeli will show us how it works. Last time he prepared the stones for this wall, and I will link the video up here and at the end of the video again. Below in the video description, you will find more information about this project. Vangeli, would you be so kind and tell us what is important? Here we build a natural stone wall. It is a pretty soft red regional sandstone, and there are a few things to look out for. We work with continuous joint lines, but they don't run all the way through. After three to four stones, we jump with the line up or down by setting a bigger or smaller stone. We're using strings to help get a nice straight wall. On this brick wall here next to it, we set a vertical string on each side of our new wall. Then you can move your horizontal strings up and down as you need because we attach them to the vertical strings. So the next stone is to be set here and we want to jump up with the level. So we'll use a thicker stone. Using different stones and sizes throughout the wall gives it a special natural ancient look. Okay, let's make the stone fit the spot. But you're too far in here with that one because it keeps me from setting a nice big one on this main side here. So you either have to cut off the back of that one or use a thinner stone that is not that tall. Also, it's important that all stones have a slight down slope towards the inside of the wall. Okay, so let's prepare a stone. Of course, we could continue to make one the same height, but we don't want to. So we want to take a higher stone now. We could now take almost any size of stone because we start with the new height. Here we see two stones that have about the same height. Three or four stones can be set well at the same height. One alone is usually not as nice, except if it's a really big one that looks good by itself. Here we have the example that the stones in this row are lower over to the right. But don't try to finish the row by installing any sloping stones in between. The stones must always be set horizontally. Do not build like that, it's ugly. I do it all by eye and not with a spirit level or anything. It just has to look good. The two strings help to align the stones properly and make the wall 100% straight. If I'm standing by the wall like this, I have to be able to see both the top and the bottom string too. You can also use one string, that's what we do on the back side, which won't be visible really later. But up front it's better with two strings. And then you support the big stones with little ones in the middle. And don't forget the mortar, that's very important. By the way, many people say these type of walls don't have to be so wide. In my opinion, a wall like this has to be 50 centimeters wide, because the stones have to overlap in the middle. You need at least three to four big ones per square meter of wall that overlap well. And if you make it only 30 centimeters, so like a foot thick, we don't have enough room for overlapping the stones properly. For example, like here, this one, it goes over here and makes the wall sturdy and stable and helps to have the wall last very long. And if you make it only 30 centimeters thick, we don't have enough room for overlapping the stones properly. If a wall was only like one meter tall, that's a different story, but here the customer wants a two and a half meter high wall, and I highly recommend 50 centimeters of width. People want to save stones and mortar, but that's nonsense. Of course we have scrap stones from shaping the rocks, but whatever lies around down here, we will use in the middle to fill up the gaps. Nicely mixed with enough mortar to make it sturdy and support the big stones. Das 
Ecken. Now let's continue here. I chose this one because it has the right thickness and fits pretty good up in here. We watch out not to change levels with each stone, meaning to jump up and down, because then we'll have problems with the next layer. So we keep this part of the row relatively level. So first we bring it to the right length. Only a little bit comes off and I do this by eye. Now take the humps off so that it lays nice and flat. Smoothening the edges a bit and then put it in place. And see how nicely it fits. Yeah, that fits exactly where we want it. We need a little bit more mortar because that is not enough here. And here we go. It's nice and solid and this row is finished on that side. Here we have a very good one. I chose it because it's very thin and it fits perfectly, I think. I checked the face of the stone, which is gonna be the front, by siding along it. I carefully break the corners. I have to be careful because otherwise it'll break somewhere else since it's so thin. So now we can put that in our wall. Of course some mortar underneath. By the way the mortar has to go more in the back because if we push the stone in place it should not come out the front. This customer wants a wall with open joints meaning not filled. This stone here is only one centimeters too long. Sometimes I'm not sure and before I take off too much, I'd rather hold it in place to check. I'm taking the thinner side off a bit here. I also have to be careful with this one. Oh no, too late. But that's not too bad, we will still put it in there anyways. Okay. 
That is the great thing about natural stones. We can just shape them different and it will still look very good. Here I also take off a bit so that the back sits a little lower. I'm taking the corners out a little. And then we can set it like this. I hope my tips help you to get your project done and I hope you liked the video. Thanks for following along today and see you next time.